Welcome everyone to a 54 and 5 Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer gameplay. I've been saving this gameplay for you guys. The full version of Advanced Warfare will be out in less than 24 hours in most countries. And videos will be here on my channel from the full game in less than 24 hours. But I've been saving this gameplay for today, just to get hyped up, basically, um, and this was actually recorded at Gamescom in Germany, one of the very first recording events in the world for Advanced Warfare multiplayer. And since going to that event, as soon as I went into it, I wanted to make sure I was bringing you guys Advanced Warfare videos every single weekend from when that event happened, back in August, all the way to today, this weekend, November. Absolutely insane. So I just hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos over those few months, and if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so to check out even even more advanced warfare gameplay. So just to make sure you guys understand, this footage was recorded at a pre-release event. This isn't gameplay from the full game. Gameplay from the full game will be out uh, in about 24 hours here on the channel. That's when I can start posting it. But this gameplay was crazy. I have three of the biggest kill streaks in the game. I went on a 20 gun streak and then another 15 gun streak all within the same game. And you guys get to see some of the biggest kill streaks in the game in action and also a ton of different weapons as well, which is absolutely awesome. Now, I've been asking you guys on Twitter what you want to see most from Advanced Warfare, and I've got a ton of videos lined up for you guys tomorrow. And of course, over the next year, four advanced warfares. I completely failed to kill that guy, but I'm now on a 15 gun streak as you can see the ruthless metal popping up there. Um, and within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, there has been confirmed to be the DNA Bomb. If you guys haven't seen that video on my channel already, uh, definitely go and check it out. The DNA Bomb is a 30 gun streak. It's essentially like a nuke, but there's also a nuclear in this game. So there's a nuclear and then there's a DNA Bomb. The nuclear is a 30 kill streak, so you can get that with kill streaks. It won't get you anything, just it simply pops up on your screen. And the DNA bomb is a 30 gun streak, just for those of you guys that are wondering. But I hope to, get, to be getting both of them for you guys, and uh, once I do, I'll share them on the channel. Always a good good thing to aim for is something big like that. Here, unfortunately, I died, I think, on a 21 gun streak. Um, and I didn't realize at the time that if I would used my paladin when I was on a 21 gun streak It would have added all of the kills onto it So I could have got the nuclear because of course that's a gun. Uh, that's a uh, kill streak not a gun streak um, But whatever I ended up dying, but you get to see one of the biggest kill streaks in the game This is the paladin um, which can also be upgraded in many different ways You can upgrade kill streaks in advanced warfare of course the thing is a bit of a machine I'm not gonna lie unfortunately there was a huge building in the middle of this map it's called riot based off a prison um, So a lot of people were indoors but when they came outdoors, they just got wreck rooney Let's be real here, guys. They got absolutely destroyed and ended up getting two of these kill streaks within this gameplay, which is even more insane. Um, and I was really happy with this gameplay. I think leading up to the launch of Advanced Warfare, we've covered sniping gameplay. We've covered SMG gameplay, assault rifle gameplay. We've covered new modes. We've covered new kill streaks. We've covered perks. Early today, we also got a look at the prestige emblems. If you missed that, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Go and watch it. There are 15 prestiges in the game, including prestige master for when you reach level 50. Prestige 15, which is the highest rank you can reach in the game. This SMG here was a load of fun. Um, unfortunately, I would say that SMGs are severely underpowered at the moment in terms of range. They take a lot of bullets to kill people if you aren't standing right next to them. And assault rifles are very, very dominant in advanced warfare from what I've played so far. Um, but who knows? You know, I, I like to think that Sledgehammer may actually patch the game quite a bit. And if people really don't like certain parts of the game, they're going to fix it and uh, improve upon it. Uh, there's a lot of changes from this build to the final build. This build, you could uh, hear footsteps very, very easily. So go on another 15 kill streak there. And thankfully, the Vulcan comes in and saves me as I run out of ammo. Um, but within the full release of the game, you can barely hear any footsteps. Like, literally, they're almost silent. I'd prefer to be able to hear footsteps at least a little bit. So we'll see. Maybe they'll change that. Maybe they won't. Um, so we've got the Paladin and the Warship here. Uh, the Warship, I believe, is AI controlled. Or I had it to had it set to AI control, which meant I could just call it in. And it'd do its thing, and I wouldn't have to worry about it, which is what I really, really like. And uh, probably one of the streaks I'll use within the full release of the game quite a lot as well. It's just a streak that can go to work without me having to do anything, and meaning I can continue to go on my gun streak. This is the BAL, the BAL. You would have seen a lot of this probably uh, from the early release gameplays. Um, it's a very good all-round assault rifle, the first assault rifle you can use within multiplayer. All the assault rifles are pretty balanced in the game. Uh, of course, there will always be a few guns that stick out, but the BAL is a very solid choice. First assault rifle in the game, and if you pick it up, you can't go wrong with it at all. Uh, but yeah, I've got a ton of awesome videos coming out for you guys. If you don't know, Gun Game and Infected are returning to Advanced Warfare. There's a DNA bomb, there's the nuclear, 
there's the new movement mechanics, um, there's the exo survival mode, so there's so much to cover and I can't wait to share it with all of you guys, I'm sure you're pumped. Uh, if, you, if not, you can get the game preloaded on your consoles, ready to go live at midnight if you get the day one edition of the game, so you can actually just jump in straight away and play it, so feel free to do that. Um, and if you're not getting the game straight away, I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting me saying that you're going to be checking out my videos first and then deciding what you think and then picking it up, um, so yeah. Definitely check out my videos. I'm excited, man. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time. It's my birthday on November the 6th. Probably won't celebrate my birthday too much. I'll probably be playing a lot of Advanced Warfare, to be honest with you guys. That's normally what happens. Every year, grind out the new Call of Duty massively. And my birthday kind of goes unnoticed. Kind of goes unnoticed. Um, but you guys have been sending me pre-happy birthday tweets already. So thank you to all of you guys that have been doing that. But back on topic for Advanced Warfare. I'm going to be playing it on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Because the um, older gen edi editions, PS3 and PS uh, and Xbox 360, are actually ports of the game. They're not actually being directly made by Sledgehammer Games. So if you want the full experience, I definitely recommend getting it on next gen consoles if possible. From what I've seen, the older gen editions still look very good, but it's clear that it's not, you know, graphically um, up to standard with the next gen versions. And having played the next gen versions, I can tell you, whew, they look absolutely insane on both consoles. So I'd highly, highly recommend that if you do have a next gen console, go with that version. It's going to be a lot better. It's going to look better. It's going to be smoother. But this is coming towards the end of the gameplay. We're playing hard points. The points are rotating around the map. Uh, we pretty much dominated the other team, which felt really, really good. And they managed to pick up a few extra kills here at the end. I really wanted that 50 kill mark, the 50 bomb, and I was so happy they got it. And it's a 10 KD spread overall, which is absolutely crazy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out the Prestige video that I'll link down below in the description. Make sure you're subscribing to for more videos here on my channel. It's been a pleasure sharing this with you guys. It's been a pleasure bringing you guys all the latest advanced warfare information and gameplay over the past few months. I can't believe the game's out. Absolutely insane. So cheers for watching, guys. There's the final score on screen in case. Check out more videos on screen here. Less than 24 hours until we get a ton of videos here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the bestest and bring on advanced warfare.